everybody, it's only me, Wushu Richard. I'm going to show you one more video tonight, okay? One more technique in this video here from a Kung Fu again, as I say, Kung Fu, Kung Fu, Wushu, okay? Whatever, I hope you want to say it, but it's like martial arts, okay? For whatever style you're doing, okay? Whatever training you do, you can blend these, start these techniques in with your training. In this video, I'm going to show you again, it's very late, as I say, it's half past 12 now, but I'm making this video for you here because it could save your life at the end of the day. Um, as all these videos would. Um, in this video, okay, I'm going to show you again blocking, okay, and um, like the other video, talking about blocking when you can block a hand and sweep, leg sweep the person's foot away, or sometimes in some cases block their hand in, okay, and sweep back. So when I'm blocking in, even with this hand coming out or this hand here, so you're going this motion to block the arms, this foot. Can sweep the foot away here. I can sweep their, their leg away from the heel here. But sometimes, as I say, you can block it this way and sweep in. So my hands go this way, my foot goes this way. Okay, when I go that way, my foot goes that way. Um, it's a different motion if you have to learn, okay, with your, especially with your hips too, when you start putting your hips into play. It really is. Now, um, if you've got the concepts in the last video and you've got an imagination, you can work this and quite understand how to work it a bit better, okay? Um, also, don't forget there are different ways to throw your opponent, which we're not talking about here. Uh, stepping behind the knees, using your knees, and also your hip, like stepping in very low, and throwing them over, like I've said before, and things like that. But we're not slamming them, but we're not doing that here, okay? What we're doing in this video now is a different thing, okay? What I'm gonna show you is basically from the other leg, okay? So what I'm going to show you is, we're looking at these sweeps again, basically. I'm going to explain that again, different angles. If I'm standing here, okay, it's not the best camera angle. If I'm, excuse me. If I'm standing here, okay, excuse me, man. <laughs> Give a good angle for that. Yeah, if I'm standing here, okay, and my back hand is up as a guard, my, my front hand is up as a guard, as I say. What I can do is I can carry his hand in. Okay, you can see that. I'm carrying his hand in with the front hand, and I'm using my front leg to sweep his front leg out, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Standing here, okay, this is my opponent. I block the front hand in, okay. As I'm doing that, he comes to hit me. I block his front hand. The guy's standing like this, okay, the left leg in front position. He goes to hit me with this hand, with his left hand to hit me, okay? What I do is I block this here, okay, and I come straight in, you see, with my heel to his, into the inside of his leg, here would be, here, you see? So I block that here, and his leg will be here, okay? So I block his hand, and I sweep his foot away from here. You see what I mean now? This hand is blocking in. And I'm sweeping this way. Do you understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say here? Yeah? From the other side, if he's standing like this, with his front leg here, and this hand goes to hit, you see with this leg now, if he goes to hit me like this, okay, the same thing. I can, as I say, quickly put my foot across his foot, you see. Keep his foot will be here, here. I will parry that hand in as he comes to punch me. Block here, and sweep this way. You see the motion? So he's a very like a traditional Kung Fu kind of move, really. But what I'm doing is I'm doing that, okay? Now, if he's already got a grab on me, or something like that, he's grabbing onto me, let's say, sometimes, I mean, you can really use this very well. As he comes to push me, I may even grab his wrist, grab his arm, even yank that and twist him into some kind of lock as I sweep the foot away to really take his momentum. And if he's coming up, you know, with a lot of power, a lot of upper body movement, it's even better for me because I can twist that body position off. Make sure his head doesn't hit your head, by the way. But I can uh, block it. I may even twist his arm straight down or grab that arm and pull it. But whatever I'm doing, okay, I'm padding off the side. As he goes forward like that, you see, I will sweep his foot away and put him off balance. I can also, as I've said, also do other things such as parrying that hand sweep the foot, and this could even strike in as I'm doing that, okay? But that's not the most important thing. You just want to guard away from that hand, sweep away. But you must check the balance of the person's foot, okay, as I've said before. 
Now, which either way, okay, you block with this hand, either in or out, okay? However you block, either like this or that, blocking in or out, with the position of your hand, doesn't matter. As you're blocking, the important thing is I'm kicking his foot that way. So he's standing like this, and I kick it away from here, okay? Be careful that you're not opening your leg up, though, for the other leg, they're trapping up. You must have good control. Make sure that you have good understanding of that. So I could block that. I may kick the foot, but regardless if I sweep him totally off balance or not, I kick a lot of power. I may hurt his foot, but I must be able to kick the other leg or keep him up by make sure I can guard against the other leg. Don't just do this, open him up, and the other leg kicks you. Very importantly. And also, don't try to block his hand from the outside here. From, say from here, I'm facing you. If, I, if you're coming in to hit me, I don't want to go too far from the outside and, and he comes in. Sometimes I may want to block out. And don't worry about it, it's the same thing. For example, I may block out see, and do the same technique together, but it's hard to get the mechanic of when you're going this way, see? When I'm going this way, you feel better, see? When you're doing that, okay? If I was doing a front, if I was doing a front sweep, you feel better when you're doing this way, so in from the back, from behind his foot. So he will go like that, okay. But for when I'm going this way though, from the front, from the front there, you feel better when you're coming in. But it's not about your feeling, okay? You have to know how to block. You might swing punch me, I need to block on the outside, right? Or block here. So it's not important. The most important thing is not you what move you do. You can go in for a straight kick, fair enough, okay? That's most important, okay? So just, as I say, parrying in if you need to, parrying out if you need to, but thinking about how to move this leg, either in, hook in behind, or out, but stay strong, okay? Don't lean over, and have your back hand ready as a strike too. If I can just put my leg here as a guard, just strongly, stand strong, no, not too much sweeping, I can stand strong, you can't sweep me, that's the most important thing. Strong stance, block, out, punch straight in, you know, or block in and punch straight in, parry those hands. Whichever hand comes, don't let it touch you. Keep them at bay with a front kick, side kick, whatever, okay? Slipping in with this one, going to the side, or going out to the side, either high, or low, bringing your feet with you so they don't sweep, you know, going off to the side, away as you come in with certain kicks maybe, okay, and strikes, okay? Quite a lot of concepts there, but not the best camera angles I know, but I hope you understand the concepts a little bit more. Many more videos to come, okay? Train hard and stay safe. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Very late tonight.